That's uh, not what any of us want to see, and everybody's around him, and just hope that he's going to be okay. Man, it's crazy. So they saying that Devon Hamlin has a pulse, but is not breathing on his own. He is being transported to UC, needed AED and CPR on the field. It's crazy because when he fell to the ground, it didn't look like that big of a hit. But when he got up, I don't know if he felt real dizzy or, you know, sometimes when you stand up, like the blood rushed to your head or something, you just collapse. That's crazy. Man. Football, UFC, boxing, sports where it's like a lot of contact to the head, it is not safe, it's not healthy as far as long-term effects. CTE is real, but unfortunately, you cannot get tested for CTE to see how bad it is until you're already gone. It need to be a better way because the long-term effects of boxers and football players, fighters in general, it don't be good. Like they be dealing with memory loss, a lot of headaches. They get put on medication, heart problems. Now, I know this dude. He young as hell. He ain't number twenty four. So, for him to be just collapsing during a game after taking a hit, like that's not a good sign, bro. Like these sports is not healthy for the human body, especially when you keep on getting multiple contact hits to the head. That shit. It's going to add up, probably need the brain swelling, anything. And they saying he's not breathing on his own. Bruh, this is crazy, man. The price that these athletes pay to make all these millions of dollars from the NFL, UFC, boxing, WWE, all these professional athletes, they, they put their body through so much wear and tear because you have dreams and hopes of making millions and millions of dollars Making sure your family's straight, but at what cost if it's doing shit like this? It's crazy, man. I wish him a speedy recovery. We're going to be updated on this thing. Hope he get back to breathing on his own, man. What y'all think about this, boy, B? Come on.